Pistol Shrimp. Pistol Shrimp! Skull and Crossbones. Beat any two stages. Ultimate Kicks. 200,000 points or eight stages. And Street Fighter 2010, the final fight. Beat the auto scroller boss. That is the Pistol Shrimp pack. Just waiting on my players to give me the go ahead and we'll get started. This is a long coming match up here. It's gonna determine the next couple of games. This is a round two match. Round one, really, both of these players got a pass, so neither of them have competed in round two just yet. Round three and four on the bottom half have already wrapped up. We're waiting on this one to do round three and four up on the top bracket, so whoever wins this will be fighting against Extreme Zero in round three. Has been waiting a little while for a match. Chaos yeah, Defrost is ready for the match after that. Waiting on Subwoofer's ice cream. Has anyone played any of these games? Folks. I feel like y'all will have seen at least the bottom two, but the first one, by Tension, probably not. Arcade port, pretty lousy. We'll see how they handle it.
not a whole lot of music to pull from any of these games. Not really. Um, a little bit of jingle here and there. Street Fighter 2010 is the only one with a real soundtrack. <laughs> and it's pretty good. It's a Capcom soundtrack, so you can count on that, right? But the other two games barely have any music at all. Sorry to hear that, Cordy. Hope you're feeling better. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm glad you have the uh, sub alert you you like. Three, two, one. Skull and crossbones. Try to find all the booty. Do not touch skulls. It begins. I am going to play the OST from this game. Enjoy. Man, the... <laughs> the art on it is something else, too. I think I'm going to have to show you guys that here in a second. That's our boy. That's one eye. That's who we're playing as. The objective here is to kill like 15 guys per stage uh, with consumable weapons. All of them are consumable. Swords, gun, all of it. And you also need to pick up a bunch of treasure and then you have a boss fight after you've done all that. They need to be two stages of their choice. They have a stage select. It's um, it's arranged easiest to hardest though, so that's why they're both on stage. Stage easiest is where they're at. Easiest stage, easy. Unquestionably the stage to be, and I expect they'll both pick the next in the running too. But they're not that much easier. They're all pretty bad. You can fall off and um, take damage and stuff. Your health bar does. It's just a number down there. It's just that number. So when it hits empty, you're done. Falling off does a little bit of damage, but thankfully it doesn't kill you instantly. You can pick up throwing knives, a gun, a big sword. All of it is consumable, so you're going to have to keep picking it up. What the what a game list. <laughs> they have... Uh, this game isn't too hard, at least. It's pretty stupid, but it's not hard, um, in that it's probably hard to beat. But to only beat two levels, they have a bunch of continues, and they will start right back where they died. Any progress on the boss health bar they've made is saved. Um, here's the boss. His number on him is showing you his health. Having weaponry is helping Devil Ray a lot here to burn him down. Using your fist takes 50 punches, so that... They're coming in here with a bunch of weapons, makes this way easier. But he, even so, the boss killed her twice. A boss is defeated, here's a bunch of booty. Those skulls are instant death, by the way. Um, <laughs> for some reason, they just instantly destroy you. So they're very dangerous to pick up, they're all over the place. The food does raise your health though. What do you think of the music? Is it weird enough? Devil Ray beat level one. One level anyway. Whatever. <laughs> That's it. Your choice level two. It's, it's this.
That wizard slowly gets closer and closer with his lightning onto the princess who he captured off your ship in stage intro, which I don't count for the challenge. <laughs> the cannons knocking you off the ship is something else. Level 2 is more the same. Um, really, as long as they don't run out of lives, they're good. If they do, they'll be starting all over. Um, feeling like they might. It might happen. But if not, they'll have this done in five minutes. It's a tedious journey, but it is not terrible, as long as they don't die too much to the boss. The boss is the real threat. The boss and picking up skulls. Skulls are no good. The instant death skulls are way too mean for this. They're just ridiculous. Level 2 introduces homing death orbs as a weapon you can have, which just screen clears. Pretty neat. This game is unofficial. It is not Nintendo licensed, I don't think. It's a Tengen game. Now they made... Their own... They just kind of published on their own. I don't... I don't know exactly the history of that, but Tension is responsible for a couple of cool games and arcade ports, like Miss Pac-Man, the best Pac-Man game probably ever. <laughs> and um, they're also responsible for this arcade port, which you know what? Maybe they wasted their time with this one, but it's pretty accurate to the original. Devil Ray's trying to burn down the boss. They're so close, and so far, because they only have one life left in this boss. Okay, okay, they've done it. <laughs> they beat stage two. All right. That was close. Devil Ray is moving on to Ultimate Kicks, Genesis game. You're going to be more familiar with this, I bet. If you've ever played Jazz Ball, you'll at least have an idea of what's going on. I'm glad I can change the music, finally. <laughs> Ultimate Kicks, unfortunately, does not have a lot of soundtrack either. It has some. But mostly, it um doesn't have any music during the gameplay itself. So you're this ship, your objective is to draw a line across the thing. You have a couple different ways to win here. If they touch your line while you're drawing it, you'll die. Um, in this game you don't die instantly, they send a little spark out after you so you can maybe finish the line if you're quick depending on where they connected to the line. The goal is to clear either, I think, 80% of the map, or to trap the boss in a very tiny box. Trapping the box, the boss instantly wins if you can get the box tiny enough. If the boss is trapped in a square tinier than, I don't know, 20% of the map, you instantly win. And if that box is very tiny, you get a bunch of bonus points for clear rate. So the challenge to get 200,000 points, the way you would do that is to trap him in the tiniest box possible. Uh, if you get him in like a 1% of the map sized box and you have a 99% clear rate, you're going to get 100,000 points right there. So you'll be half done with the challenge in one stage. Alternatively, you can just clear 75% of it carefully and do it eight times in a row and that that's good enough for me as well. Either way, either way is going to take some kicks determination here. This first boss is quite large. There's also some power-ups you can get by clearing those crystals. Speed-ups, um, a little bit of durability. 
freezing time to trap the boss really easily is one of them, and I think one of them is a bomb that just instantly wins, but that might not be in this version. I'm not sure. That might be Turbo Graphics only. Well, Devil Ray's still on level one here. It looks like they're getting the hang of what they're being asked. It's kind of weird. Okay, that's level one. Now you're not gonna get a whole lot of points for an 80% clear. You can see right there that chart. It really gets high when you go over 90%. Anything in the 80s isn't gonna isn't gonna add up much. Like I said, you could already have 100,000 points. Um, 20,000 is not going to get there quickly. This game is pretty tough to do well. You have to be really careful. You have a lot of time that you can take, though. And with that, we have used up the entire Kix OST. How was it? Ultimate kicks here. On the Genesis, in Japanese, it's called Volfeed. Ultimate Kicks is the English version. They're the same game. The Turbo Graphics game is closer to the arcade, though. Subwoofers is having a heck of a time with um, level 2 Skull and Crossbones. Double Ray is not making too much progress in kicks just yet. I like Jez Ball a lot. I wish there was a good version of it on consoles to play. It'd be fun. Subwoofers is in a lot of trouble. They gotta do 25 HP to this boss with no weapons. I don't know if they're gonna make it or not. This might be tricky. I'd hate to see a wipeout at this point. It looks like they're making it just barely. 10 HP left. Like I said, I don't think beating this whole game would be easy, but beating the two challenges I'm looking for here could be done. Subwoofers has done it. Skull and Crossbones is out of here.
about seven minutes behind. We're going to see if Subwoofers knows how to play Ultimate Kicks. This is their chance to come back into this race. Big risky strat. Um, drawing a big line like that. If you can pull it off, like he just did, you get a lot. Uh, you get a huge chunk of the map covered. You also usually get bonuses. I don't remember what the P does exactly, but it's on right now, whatever it is. Um, the really good one's time stop, because then you can just draw a real tight box around the boss, instantly win a million points. I would say that neither of the players have a lot of experience with kicks based on that they, uh, they're having such a hard time with level 1 and 2. That's time stop. Double Ray's got it right now. Didn't get to do a whole lot with it, unfortunately. But that is the power-up that you could use to um, just rack up 100,000 points instantly. Really nice. I don't know what causes this worm to get tinier. Maybe just time going by causes it. I'm not sure. But this boss definitely shrinks. And maybe the other ones do too. I don't know all the details about kicks. All I know is that uh, I didn't have a terrible time doing this challenge. I have a lot of jazz ball familiarity. I'm not sure exactly how the laser works. Um, Subwoofers has it right now. I wonder how many shots it takes to kill the boss. Oh! Try to do something gutsy. Right now, Devil Ray's got the boss trapped in the bottom right. If, if she heads down there and finishes that, so much value. Didn't make it in time though. Like, that's exactly what you want to try to cause to happen. And if you build a shape that will help lead to that, just tunnel the boss into a corner like that and then just finish it off. A cube that size would have instantly been like 97%. 50k. One fourth of the goal. Um, plus whatever points you get normally. I feel like that's the easiest way to do this challenge. Beating eight rounds is a pain. It can be done. It's what I did. Um, in, t in ten minutes or so. Some of these levels, um... Are different from each other, but the idea is the same, the concept's the same, it doesn't change too much.
Nice shapes. <laughs> The only time the boss normally stops is to shoot at you. Part of the issue with this challenge, what makes it so hard, is that you only have three lives. You do get some for points. Um, Feeling like it's a hundred thousand per life, though, or more. You just don't get a whole lot. You wipe out. You don't have continues or anything. So we was already wiped out instantly. Game over. <laughs> Both players are having a very tough time with this game there's definitely a strategy to it you can um you can go either way with uh what i did here successfully you can build land like they're doing you don't get as much points for this but it's what i would call the safe strategy i don't like the way they're doing it though um what they're doing is building a border and i feel like that's the worst thing you could do You'd be way better off to draw tiny little shapes, just tiny little rectangles in the form of a line across the center, splitting this map up into quarters and slaying the boss, whatever quarter the boss is in. That's probably the safest way. And because neither of them are really doing that, they're having a tough time. Uh, the problem with what they're doing is they're creating a smaller living space for every enemy. And then they're left with a need for another 10% of the map. And there's no room at all to get in there. You can't do it anymore. The room is too tight. Uh, so you can't even begin to start attempting to go across to draw any more lines safely. So they end up at 70% and then dying three times. I definitely give them information on that sealing the boss is an instant win. If the boss is trapped in a tiny quadrant, you instantly win. Uh, as long as it's 20% or less of the map, it's an instant win. And the tighter it is, the better, for sure, but it is an instant win in any case. The tighter uh, square just gives you more points, but they all equal the same. That's level one. Looks like both players are going to beat level one here. Double Ray's been on level two a couple of times. 85% for subwoofers. I feel like, again, 90% is the real cutoff where it starts to recognize that you put some effort into um, trying to seal it. You start getting 2,000 points per percent after that, and it, it starts raising real quick towards 99. I think subwoofer's strategy is to go after the items. Got a one-up out of it, so it didn't get 
totally screwed, but the items aren't that great. The only one that really matters is the time stop. Ultimately, they have sealed off half the map again. <laughs> Tried to seal the boss real quick, but he decided to move. Doesn't make it that easy for you. Players tend to panic in this game, and they, they lose a whole bunch of lives real quick. I don't think Devil Ray has much time left on this game. A couple of minutes. I would have liked to have seen the players try something else strategy-wise. Um, this plan they have. I think it is the least effective thing you can do. And they both went for it. They're both sticking to it. <laughs> Neither one of them are um, deviating from that strategy much. Subwoofers had a hell of a time, got wiped out on Skull and Crossbones, which just added five minutes right away. I think they are seven or eight minutes behind, at least, because of game one. So if they both wipe out on Ultimate Kicks, they'll be going into Street Fighter 2010 um, with Devil Ray having a huge advantage. And that's another tough one. I didn't expect Ultimate Kicks to hold up this hard. But it is what it is. We have arcade pit challenges for ultimate kicks, and now I know just how hard they really are. I wonder how long Double Ray has. Let me see. I'm gonna take a look. Uh, should be moving on by now. Was on kicks at 6 minutes and 50 seconds. Less. Go ahead on to the next one. Very exciting. I'm going to play some OST music again. All right. I don't think you can draw a slow line in this version of Kicks.
They say 2010 is how many millennia into the future we are. We're only in the second millennia. Out of 2010 millennia. So there. So, uh, Street Fighter 2010, what do I say about this game? It's got a lot of buttons to it. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can also collect a lot of power-ups that amplify your damage by five-fold. So that's what I instructed them to try to do. Destroy the rubble, collect the power-ups. Your, your range increases, your damage increases. It's all crazy. It's definitely the goal. Step one, find that stuff. Step two, then concern yourself with the enemy. Um, fighting him without out that stuff sucks. You can still win, but you have a lot of work to do in this game. And that power-up stuff, it stays between levels. So you definitely want to, to bother. You definitely want to go hunting for that top priority, really. Fighting the boss is a fool's move. Subwoofers... Still on kick, still working on it. Subwoofers is taking a pass on kicks. Kicks has drained everyone's spirit. <laughs> Adding it to my list of failed challenges. Kind of curious how many failed challenges I have. Let's see. Well, I've got 156 successful challenges. And about 70 that were too hard. So we're at about a 25% rate, 30% rate on bad challenges. Um, challenges that were just overtuned. I would like to reduce that number next time I do this tournament. I've got all the stats on it tracked. Kicks is alright, I guess. Not very exciting. As far as cereals go, it's not my choice. I'd rather have an interesting cereal. I like cereal. I find it hard to believe that anyone would pick Kicks when they have Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Lucky Charms or, you know, anything more interesting <laughs> than just puff balls, but I mean, at least they're healthy, I guess. If we're going generic, I would go Raisin Bran or Honey Nut Cheerios, at a minimum. I still wouldn't pick Kicks. Raisin Bran with the oats in it. There's a special brand of Raisin Bran they make these days. It's real good. Mini Wheats kick ass. But Blueberry or Strawberry Mini Wheats. S tier cereal, man. Unstoppable beast of cereal at Blueberry Mini Wheats. Go try it.
I worked at a grocery store manager for a long time. Uh, so I'm very familiar with all the products that are in a grocery store, but especially the, um, the non-produce, non-dairy, anything that's in the regular section of... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with dairy and not at all familiar with produce. I didn't work in that section. Everything else in the entire store I'm very familiar with. I know where it goes, what it costs, and I've tried most of the regular products. Uh, so the Zero Owl definitely was all over that. I've tried every single one of them, probably. At some point. I've had nearly every Little Debbie cake that they make, because I have to have lunch, and it's right there. Delray has beaten level 1 a couple times here. Same problem as with Kicks. I feel like if they don't get some of the power-ups, like two bars at least on per stage, it's just going to get really out of hand real fast. It matters so much that you find those upgrades. What do you think of this painting of people cheering in the background? By the ovens. I didn't know they sweetened with honey. I don't eat as much cereal as I would like. I have trouble with milk. Um, I probably should switch to like almond milk or something easier. Dry cereal isn't the greatest. <laughs> There's only a couple that I would eat dry. Um, Onion Nut Cheerios and um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch would probably be it, honestly. Nothing else really works dry. Devil Ray has made it to the level we're looking to beat, the auto-scroller. I'm really worried about the power level though, it's just not enough, just not enough, just do not have what I would be comfortable with coming into this stage. Never managed to find more than one, and also when you die you lose some, so power level's back down to one. It's not upgraded at all. It's halfway to level two. That's where Devil Ray is sitting right now. They may find some on the way, yes they did, okay, they're level two now. So right away you can see this increase, but um... I wish I had like a GIF to show you, if you haven't played this before, just how powerful you can get. Devil Ray is being uh, auto-crushed right now, unfortunately. I had people play this auto-scroller level by itself in the past, and people did all right. I had given them a lot of power-ups though, I, I bet. I'm not sure about that. I probably did. I probably started them with as much as I could get them, just to make this a little less painful. Busting through here without power-ups sucks. I don't remember how well they did, but I'm pretty sure this was the challenge I used. Ah, oh, she just can't make it through in time. We'll be starting over. Subwoofer's also having a hell of a time. You have such powerful movement in this game. It's weird, but once you learn the controls, it's not that bad. Uh, Double Ray is using it continues, um, which I honestly didn't remember this game even had. I'm gonna start with no power though, on level three. Understandable, but painful. 
It's not really level 3. This is more like Mario World 1-3, right? Like, this is like... This is like the stage where you can get the warp whistle in Mario 3. That's where we're at in terms of game progress. They aren't even through World 1 yet. Oh, that's an extra life. Dang, that's a big find. What the... Subwoofers just got an extra life out of a container. Anyway. What I'm saying is it might be worth starting over just to get a fresh start at this. With power-ups, as many as you can find. <laughs> Devil Ray's tanking damage to get through. It works. They're hurt now, though. They gotta do this real well from here on out, and that's not gonna be too easy. Nope. Street Fighter 2010. What's wrong with it other than everything we're seeing right now? That level one is just a really basic enemy who flies around in a lazy chase and both players struggle with it immensely because you have no way to fight back. There's too many moves for me to list for the players, but I did give them the hold down to attack kick upwards, and that's why they're using that one so much, I think. It's one of my favorite moves to do. I can beat the game with that almost exclusively, just using that move when it's good to use it. It works so well. It works, like, fantastically against almost the entire first part of the game. But again, their big problem is that they are not doing what I recommended and grabbing power-ups. Like, I should have put that in bold, underlined text. Please collect power-ups from the rocks. It's very important. Killing this boss in 10 hits instead of 50 is what you're looking at. And it also has range on it. Like, it's so good. Subwoofers is level 3, so now we can see what that looks like. Uh, we're starting to see some real fuel here. Right? Like, look at that. Even the regular punches are just reaching so far. Boss dead. You only have 10 seconds to get to the warp. I don't know if Subwoofers has done this before, if they're sure how to do it. Right, coming up onto the uh, crusher trap up here. <laughs> the strategy there is to just take a hit every time, just grab that damage. I love it. Level 2 for Devil Ray as well on the power up meter here. Just a little bit left on the stage for Devil Ray. This isn't that long. There's these, these platforming sections, and then, I think, the boss. For the record, uh, again, it's still World 1, Planet 1 down there in the bottom left. Um, to get to Planet 2, you have to beat this stage and then two more, and I was thinking maybe to make them do all of Planet 1. I'm glad I toned that down. <laughs> glad I backed off of that strategy. Uh, based on what I saw of this game last time, I thought that might be too much. Double Ray's at the boss at level 3. Uh, this could be it. This could be the end of this boss. This boss isn't ridiculous. Uh, it does a couple weird things with these boxes. But I think with that much damage, she might pull it off. She does need to get in there and beat the crap out of him when the openings present themselves, though. There's a lot of debris on the screen, but most of it's not hazardous. Only the throw that he does is really strange and damaging to you. She's got it! Yo, that's done! Challenge complete! Street Fighter 2010 has been defeated. It is not too hard. Devil Ray has proven it. It can be done. Nice work.
immediately died to the space frogs. <laughs> and the wacky psychedelic dimension. So you have to beat the space frogs, and then you have another boss after that. And I think it's not got a stage. I'm pretty sure it's just a boss fight, but... Getting close to the end of Planet 1 at this point. Yeah, welcome to the Psychedelic Dimension. It's good here. Cool stuff. This music is not the, uh legendary Capcom music that you would hope it is. But it could be worse. It could be Skull and Bones. Let's check out cutscene theme 2. <laughs> Never mind. Let's... That's the game over music? They've heard that a couple times. Let's hear the planet themes. Yeah, that's the stuff. Don't worry, what's up? Yo, uh, that nice. was a that was a selection of games there. Nice work. You beat two of them. <laughs> kicks I beat two of them. I think everybody got stymied on kicks, and that was the one I was actually looking forward to playing. But I feel like the big problem with that one is, uh, well, number one, uh, I think uh, your expectations of us on that one were a smidge optimistic. Let's just say. Both of you were doing something weird with kicks. I think the demo would show you a better strategy where you're supposed to be drawing tiny little rectangles right across the center, and then not connecting it all the way across. You do not want to actually split across the center. You just want to draw a line that the boss cannot cross. It makes it way easier to control. It splits up the enemies. Mm -hmm. What you both were doing was drawing this weird border where all you were doing was making it harder on yourselves. Uh, you give yourself less and less room to work with, and a whole bunch of enemies packed in real tight. Yeah, I might be a huge mark for Taito stuff, but uh, I've never been that good at kicks, even though I, I don't mind the game at all. Oh, hi, cat. <laughs> you do get 100,000 points for a 99% clear, so two stages in a row is what it would take to beat that challenge. Yeah, I think uh, the thing about kicks is you need a lot of confidence to do, like, the big plays, and in order to do that, I think you have to be playing it for a while. There you is... just can't get the feel of it. Yeah, there's not a lot to talk about with it other than that there is a time stop power, and that would make it really easy to just instantly steal off the boss. I saw you had the boss trapped down in the corner for a long time, and it was frustrating that you didn't go down there and seal it in, because that was like an instant... 95% clear? Well, I tried to seal in the boss several times, but it uh, kept on giving me a different part of the map as cleared rather than the area for the boss. It has to be, um, has to be in the tiny part. So I'm not sure what causes that. It works like Dig Dug in, uh... Again, I like kicks, I just haven't really messed around with it much, and now I kinda, I kinda want to. I have a lot of Jez Ball experience, so I was natural at it, I just went right into it. It's, it's a lot like Yellow. Dig Dug 2. Have you played that? Uh, we still op? Yeah. Do you hear me? Uh... I hear you. Do you hear me? I think my Discord died. Oh, no. Subwoofers is finished. Who oh, boy. <laughs> Tech troubles with our commentary. I'm gonna see if subwoofers wants to hop in too. Yep, oh, there we go. My uh, PC just froze for a second. Welcome back. Hey, subwoofers. Hi, I'm back. Hey. What did you think? Yo, of... so uh, how about that kicks? Yeah. How about kicks? Definitely the strategy I would recommend. Um, just in general, 
is to try and go across the center with some really tiny spikes and um, not clear whole sections until you're ready. Uh, it's just easier all around. Easier even if you're just going for an 80% clear. Um, if you can just get the boss to fall into a, like a trap, you, you kind of like lure him into a enclosed area. Yeah, I definitely gotta play kicks more or whole feed. Trying to slowly seal in the area, just piece by piece. You get to 70% and it feels like you're doing good, but that last 10% is a game over. It's just not gonna happen a lot of the time because it's so busy in there uh, when you mm -hmm. have it sealed that way, when it's all connected. Yeah, uh, well, on the other games, uh, Skull and Crossbones, uh, I feel like the strategy for that game is tank. Yeah. Skull and Crossbones is a weird one. Tenjin's unofficial NES port of an arcade game. Uh, ooh, it's kind of messy. Uh, oh yeah. my god. Uh, <laughs> Collision in that game is kind of more of a theory than anything. So you do have yeah. something like eight levels to do, and I was only asking for three, the tutorial stage, and two more. I think you have to hit the wizard every time he shows up to try and do damage to him, or he gets away and you just game over anyway. Um, yeah, that, that boss fight was... That was something. That just, like, boss fights? Hope you have... Hope, like, yeah. Like, cause, cause there's no, I, I was trying to figure out if, if there's a way I could just, like, use my fist against, like, the regular enemies and save my gun and my knives for the boss, but there's there's no way to just turn off your weapon. And if you just run out of weapon, then, well, it's and basically second just... second stage has no weapons. Yeah. And... Yeah, and and, for, and and they only let you buy the weapons in between the stages, which right. I, I guess makes sense. But like, all, all, all that all that darn gold you got to pick up for no good reason, and then you can't do anything. Then it's no good to you until you get through the boss. And yeah, like yeah, then with back to kicks, like that was exactly the problem I was having. Like I, I was I was going out, or I was filling in my. Uh, gaps too soon or either that or i was just trying to cut around the edges and then again i get to the end and have I, i'd basically be trapped i'd have no safe way to make any progress i wish the items were better the laser can kill the boss i'm pretty sure and you both were trying to do that i think you just didn't commit enough to that concept you are safe as long as you're not drawing so you can just blast yeah yeah i didn't i didn't think that was possible the items it, are aside from um the item that freezes time, in which case, you know, you just run up and draw a real tight box on the boss and instantly yeah. win. Uh, all the other ones are, yeah, they're not that great. Speed up is handy, but it's not essential. I think the yeah, way to do I... it is definitely to draw, like, a, a line that goes 90% of the way across is how I always start. And then I work on a horizontal version of the same thing. And then I, um, I figure out where the boss is stuck. And I try and um, I try and just shape him down into an even tighter place and seal him off. Uh, doing it ah, that way. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, that makes sense. Doing it that way is almost assuredly 80%, but you're probably going to get 90 plus. And for me, it took. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with kicks, but I do have a lot of experience with jazz ball. So it's kind of weird. I'm in a weird place where like. Cat, get off the PC. <laughs> uh. I have a lot of familiarity with the genre, so I picked it up quick. Uh, I did both of those things uh, in uh, in about ten minutes, and then when I when I learned just how much the Genesis version gives you for sealing it in, I I got 200k real quick, and that was a Ooh. that was a fun idea yeah. to take on. What about Street Fighter 2010? You both did really well on what I thought would be the uh, hardest one here. That game, uh, I, I feel like that would actually be a good game if the controls acted like you wanted them to. It's yeah, got my, a lot of potential, but you just never do what you want. I mean, like as as neat as that anti air kick is, like I found it it was a hassle because you have no crouching attack and those yeah those stupid and missiles keep coming in at sense. knee height. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of moves for a two button game, uh, more than like a, even a Ricky Cuneo game. A lot of backflips and stuff. A lot of weird. Too many for me to write out for you, really. Yeah. Uh, just they're all over the place, and the buttons are not where you would expect. The big problem with that game. Uh, is that you do need to grind power. If you don't, you're really going to pay the price. And yeah, I saw you both I mean, had some yeah. pretty strong power levels by the end. Neither of you really capped it out, but I think once you get to, like, level 2 or 3, you start to really see 
that wow, this is way better, a way better game. Uh, you can reach as if you had a spear, and, <laughs> and you just do three times as much damage at level three. At level yeah, five, just having... you shoot across the whole screen. Oh, jeez. Yeah, just having any range at all in that type of game is basically the difference between being able to do anything or not, because, like, suddenly, oh, I can hurt stuff without just without taking damage each time. Like, what is the trick on that gorilla boss? I eventually just kind of tanked him, but I know there's supposed to be a strat. Is it get your weapon up and That's my fight strat. him from afar, then? <laughs> my strat yeah, is... I mostly just tried to hang out under him and just shoot up into him. My strat is definitely to be at level 3 before I even get in there, and he dies real quick. Yeah, that was yeah. I mean, yeah. Fortunately, they they give a lot of upgrades right near the end. But yep, I don't. Yeah, I, it's not a great level for trying to get upgrades, as you know, as you see by that those traps in the stupid wall crushing section. I definitely like to get every single block destroyed in every level that I can, because the power ups are too good. There is a lot of yeah, game left though. Uh... Game's ambitious, it does not come together very well. It's funny how annoying that that boss doesn't really do a whole lot, that first one. But you can yeah. really see everybody who plays this game struggles with him because of the controls being so weird. He's just floating around. Sometimes he swoops in. He reminds me of like um, a flying boom boom from Mario Brothers 3 uh, in terms of he doesn't do anything else. <laughs> he just swoops in and he's so annoying. I mean, honestly, he's not the problem. It's just the missiles that just never, ever, ever stop. Those things don't die very quickly either when you don't have power-ups. Yeah. Psycho, Psycho that guy well, did LP this game back in the day. I remember watching that. Yeah, you LP'd the whole thing. Be an interesting watch. Yeah, I wonder I how that holds that. up. Well, Zero Chan, thanks for playing. You made it to the next round. Congratulations. Woohoo! Congratulations. You'll be up against Extreme okay. Zero. Whenever you feel like scheduling that one, he's ready to go. Uh, this is kind of a busy month, but next week should be fairly open, hopefully. So, Guess, we'll see. Uh, get some more games on par with 2010 here for you. All my Ooh, good boy. stuff. I got a lot of challenges left. Uh, and Subweavers, thanks for playing. You made it all the way to the second bracket. Nice work. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for having me. Uh, just let me know when that match is scheduled. It's the um, it's the next one, uh, because the lower bracket's pretty much done. We're on the semifinals down there, so <laughs> your matches across the board zero chances. All I'm waiting for. Don't have any other matches going on. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Alrighty. Well, like I said, probably sometime next week would be uh, ideal. But uh, best way to schedule this is probably to tell my opponent to get in contact with me. Yeah, I can do that. We only have five games left in this thing. Wow. Well, thanks for playing, guys. I'm going to be playing Killer Queen. Uh, I haven't played it outside of the arcade ever, so it's on Steam and the Switch. I'll be playing with Ty Tuesday, Author Blues, and Dark Twins here in 50 minutes, so look forward to that, folks. We'll be doing that soon. Oh, are you uh, playing on Switch or Steam? Steam, I think because cross-platform out here doesn't work, I would like to play it on the Switch, though. Yeah, I reviewed the Switch version. I'd love to play with more folks, but if you're playing Steam, that... Mm. I don't think it's yeah. cross-compatible. I'm going to get it on both. Eventually. Yeah, it's good, though. Killer Queen Black is the game with the snail. I'll talk about Killer Queen plenty when we start playing it, but there's a snail. <laughs> uh, there's, like, four ways to win. It's like a it's competitive It's an extremely joust. good snail. Yeah, you can ride the snail across the bottom, and if no one interferes, that's one of the ways to win. It's just like a you're defenseless, and you're riding a snail very slowly to victory, <laughs> and if they ignore you too long, you've won that way. There's like four other ways to win, and that's one of them. The snail option. Kicks ass. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's not my favorite thing to do, though. I'm pretty good at joust, so I like to be in there fighting. Uh, I don't like to be the snail man, but it does work. Well, one thing about Killer Queen Black you should know is that um, attacks are more akin to a standard action game than Joust, so that's one of the big changes. That's fine, I'm good at those too. <laughs> Looking forward to playing it though, I haven't seen any of it. 
but we'll be back on in 50 minutes, folks. I'm taking off until then to set that up. You have a good, uh, have a good night, players. That double raise. Well, do. Later. Wait. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down. In the meantime, we'll be back in 50 minutes or so, folks. See you then.